Hello and welcome to this edition of Alcyon's Link. I'm your host, Lauren Risley, or your PWT heavyweight champion of the world. However, I digress. On this episode of Halcyon Blink, I'm going to be talking about a music video. Yay! That girl. Because I had so much success with the last one, and everyone was just so kind and loving with their words and their suggestions that I should get some talent and go f myself. I'm so, so sorry. Chris Brown! Turns out the dude makes music when he's not beating up women for a living. Oh, this is awkward. I'm gonna be talking about the one that sits, m sticks most in my gore. Uh, loyal. Um, or to put, to give it its full title, These Hoes Ain't Loyal. <laughs> These Hoes Ain't Loyal. Um, anyway, this was, um, this was made famous to me by, I forget his name, God bless him, but when I used to work at a company called Phoenix, the guy was just, uh, he was off the chain black, let's put it that way. He was just through and through, um, unashamedly, um, rich in his, his belief that being black was his best asset and what made him cool. I disagreed, I thought it was his humour and his ability to be able to poke fun at anything and everybody, but I digress. Anyway, he first raised the song to my attention and I sat down and listened to it one day. My God, um, so let's break this song down. So he he's talking about how uh, these, these bitches um, around him who are kind enough to dress up in um, Catwoman's outfits for some reason. I know these hoes ain't right But you was blowing up her phone last night But she ain't have a ring or not her ring on last night Ooh, nigga, that's that nerve uh, They're all not loyal and how they're not worth spending any money on Um <sighs> Moving on to Chris Brown Um, uh, that lovable scamp Oh, God uh, if only it wasn't Rihanna. Uh, if it was, if it was them who defend him, we might be seeing a different story. But unfortunately, he can't. He can't beat every woman in the world. His time is very valuable. He can only beat up the famous ones. He knows he won't get caught doing it for. Now that's sarcasm. <laughs> so he rocks up wearing something around his waist, akin to uh, you know the old school '90s things: big Timberlands and a leather jacket, as if that makes him look butch. taking crazy pills! And then proceeds to start break dancing in the middle of a street. Um, Usher turns up with a thing on his head that he seems to have stolen from the Macklemore uh, video. More to the point, um, the song in and of itself is, is talking about women and their inherent lack of trustability, I think. Um, which is interesting because, to be honest, like I said, I don't know what woman hurt him. Um, but dude, newsflash, women have hurt every single man on the planet. It's why we're dicks. Um, and it's also why we in turn are dicks to women and that's why they're dicks to us. It's a complicated and convoluted, unending cycle of bitchiness that just humanity is doomed to repeat till the end of time. And when you look into it... You know, he does his fancy moves and he does his, you know, do -do 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 and he sings along and all the rest of it. Um, it's just a really terrible song. Um, really, really terrible. Talking about how he's gonna, you know, give drugs to the girl and smoke them himself and get her intoxicated and protect, potentially take advantage of her, which, you know, great message, kids. But now cocaine comes in a delicious shape. Red balls. It gives me wings. He's gonna be talking about a lot of other stuff, like how he wants a white girl with a big booty. Um, I don't know, um, you know, because of course objectifying women is fine when you're specific about what you want to It's just a terrible song, um, and one that I find myself admonishing because, well, god damn, if I was a girl with even half a sense of self-decency and self-respect, I'd be pretty pissed off by that song, um, because it's effectively him three and a half minutes of saying that no woman on the face of the planet is worthy of money or trust. I'm pretty sure he has a mother. Unless he was the seed of Satan himself, in which case Satan can really dance. Hello! It's me, the devil. I stand for all that is bad. <laughs> also, I'm naked. 
<laughs> More to the point though, um, we all have mothers, they all brought us into this world, they were all worthy of at least a modicum of respect, I would have imagined. Um, and more to the point, the, the song is only really endured because of the dance moves and because of the catchiness of the tune, which is a sad indictment of music these days when it's just, yeah, his song's terrible and the lyrics are apocryphal and they send a bad message to our kids, but damn if it ain't tune-tastic, uh, yeah, yeah, break down. <laughs> As you can see, I'm very, very, you know, I'm, I'm down with the kids. So I know exactly, you know, I know exactly, and I know about bling. There's no better bling in the world than this. So you have to forgive me for not seeing where Mr. Brown's point comes from. Um, so if I'm gonna rate this music video when compared to the, cause I've got to compare, you see, in terms of tone and execution of tone and the, the point that the video was trying to raise, if anything, it is more successful than Clean Bandit because Clean Bandit was just tone deaf for all the wrong reasons in terms of the message that it was putting across and how badly that it did that. Um, Chris Brown is trying to, you know, put his point across in his own very weird way in the sense that he's dying to be Michael Jackson. Um, and I'm sure that gets spinning in his grave for every time that he's tried to rip off his dance moves and look. At the end of the day, I think it's just fascinating to me to see this this uh, individual who is celebrated by a lot of, uh, he has a majority, I think it's fair to say he's a majority female fan base. You know, this is an individual that's clearly in need of help and yet he's, a, he's able as an artist to make songs of this nature and it's just, uh, that's just his artistic license. Song should have never been made. Put my foot down now. So if I'm gonna rate this song out of 10, it's, it's a 1.1 1 .1, uh, and I'll explain. It's better than Clean Bandit in the sense that, yeah, the tune's catchy, yay! Um, but more to the point, you know, he sets across to, to try and prove that these, these hoes ain't loyal. Um, um, you know, these hoes ain't loyal. And, um, you know, if you didn't have context, like if you didn't know you had a mother, I'm sure that you'd believe Mr. Brown. Um, however, I'm of the opinion that, that that's not necessarily the case. I know I'm probably taking this a touch too seriously, but hell, it's my show. I can take whatever the hell I like seriously, so. Sucks to be you if you're watching this and you're a fan of Mr. Brown. Uh, I suggest you go take it out with him. I'm sure he'll be really polite about it. Hey, I doubt it. Okay. Yeah, in terms of execution, um, yeah, he he convinces me that hoes aren't loyal for the 0.0.0001 seconds that I actually buy into that when I realize, no, he's full of shit. In fact, I'm gonna end on a slightly different note. I'm gonna let Mr. Phil Brooks um, eloquate my feelings towards Mr. Brown in so many words. Mr. Phil Brooks, by the way, you might not invite it as Mr. CM Punk. Take it away, Phil! I don't have a manager, I don't have a bodyguard, I don't need a bodyguard, I don't have an assistant, I have no need for a PR team to tell me what to tweet or when to delete tweets, and I don't hit women. See, period. You don't hit women. In my world, women are to be revered and respected. And I firmly believe that in this life there are consequences and repercussions for people's actions. And I don't think Chris has paid for what he's done. And picking up trash on the side of a highway does not make amends for repeatedly striking a woman in her face and sending her to a hospital. So Chris wants to throw stones my way now. And I say, that's fine, but put some gloves on and get the ring. And I, I, will, I will choke you out and I will make you feel as weak and as powerless and scared and alone is any woman who is in this fortune of knowing a sad, cowardly little boy such as yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, was the Halcyon Blink. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you're someone that doesn't usually watch my show and just happens to have Googled Chris Marin, you've come across this video and watched it, two things. Uh, number one, what are you doing with your life watching a channel that's got less than a thousand subs? <laughs> if it's got less than a thousand subs, you know the content must be terrible because no one watches it. And secondly, um, thank you very much for your ire. You have no idea how much it makes me chuckle. I actually feed on negative comments. I'm disappointed when everyone's nice about my videos. I really am. I prefer people to, uh, you know, come and take a pop because it's just funnier to me. So if you do leave a comment or a dislike, know that 
you're the reason I eat and breathe. So thank you very much for watching this episode. Please like, share and subscribe or dislike and unsubscribe and share to your friends and back chat me if you want to. Uh, if you've managed to survive this long, please check out some of the other content creators below who deserve your appreciation and attention. They've been churning out some really top quality content recently. I've got to say, I've been watching it, loving it, enjoying it. Um, and if I can watch, find time to watch and love and enjoy something, then you can too. So thank you very much for watching again. Take care of yourselves. This has been your... PWT Heavyweight Champion of the World. Until next time, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Halcyon Blink.